It'll be sitting in your thing when you're ready. Thanks, man. Uh, I'll invite Nadia to if she wants to come. What's up, YouTube? This is Fit back here with another uh, recording. We're going to do the uh, Hero Tutorial Series in continuation. This is going to be the Harpy Slayer or Anuir. We're doing it in a hard alpha, so Anuir comes next on our alphabetical list. So, first, I'm going to go ahead and just cover a quick talent page for Anuir. I've actually used a lot of Harpy. I used to actually always, 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 always play Harpy. I don't know what it was. I went through a huge phase with her. I got into her because one of my friends was really good with Harpy. And uh, this is actually... Harpy has gone through a couple different phases. Initially, her ultimate uh, did not cast more than once. So, Harpy has changed uh, since Heroes of War and Chaos first started. And um, she has always been a strong hero. Uh, and I think she continues to be a strong hero. Uh, perhaps one of the most underused, but highly potential, but... What does it have here on her do? It says that her difficulty is at medium. All right. Well, I think her difficulty used to be that, but I think that maybe when they changed her, they didn't actually update it. I think Harpy is one of the most difficult heroes in the game to use if you want to use her at her maximum potential. I suppose any hero and with split moment decisions during the middle of a team fight can be extremely difficult to be able to do that. You have to have quick reactions and all that. But assuming you do have quick reactions and assuming you have played her a couple times, she's one of the most difficult heroes in the game. Just because she has so much damage potential, but it's so hard to use. Look, she is an all-inner. When she goes into the middle of a fight, it's best if she goes in the middle of all five of them. So any hero who's, who's like potentially you know strongest when going in on all five of their entire team, that is dangerous. Because their entire team is normally only grouped up when one person is in the middle of an entire team. I can repeat that, but... The entire team is normally only grouped up as all five super close together if there's only zero or one enemy in the entire midst of them. So, with that in mind, Harpy's difficult as shit. You can easily die and just look like a complete noob. You can want to go in on a threes map, maybe to just go ahead and stun somebody for your own teammate, but it might not work out that way. A gambler can just come up and stun you, completely counter you, and you're screwed. So, we're going to go over some of her talents and what I would pick. And uh, also, maybe I do have two options in my head for the best way to build Harpy. So we may do two videos here, or two actual recordings consecutive. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that, because in my head, there are two distinct builds for Harpy. One is super defensive. Well, actually, one is kind of a balance between defense and offense. And then the other one is just hyper-offensive. Just mage carry, straight damage, and uh, magic defense pierce. So let's go with that. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and just take a look at what I would want as my talents going into a fight with Harpy. Also, uh, if, it, if you're going to do two videos... I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Well, what's your idea, though? You can just do them both in the same video. I could. We'll see what happens with that. Alright, so we're going to start off. I'm going to go straight to Mage. Um, I want to pick up Magic Attacks, and I want to increase my... No, I don't. I want to... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a good Harpy build. I'm not going to go with either Hyper Offensive or or the uh, Balanced. Let's go, let's go with something else. Alright, so, alright, one thing you guys should know is that, uh, yeah, there has been a huge update, and uh, a lot of the items for Mage used to give you HP. Now, it's not really like that, okay? And Harpy's first skill scales off of her max HP. When you drain somebody with, uh, I think it's the Kiss of Death, okay, her first spell is called Kiss of Death, right? And when you use it, um, the amount that you heal and the amount that you drain is according to your max HP, your personal max HP, and your magic attack. Am I right about that? Hulk skills off of both. So, we're going to go ahead and fill out max HP. 
increase my physical defense. I'm gonna give myself a set of armor. I'm gonna increase my max HP by th by the th by level and fill that all the way max out. Increase the amount of heal. I'll just put one point in that. This is a little bit retarded, so I'm gonna just kind of tune it up a little bit. We'll actually go with this because the amount that you heal by 35% I think that's good all right so I think that's okay and that was uh, talent page number five and we're gonna discuss uh, some of my tablets real quick we'll make a page for her making my fourth page all right so I'm thinking tablet a favor um, it, 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 when you are healed, an allied hero within the, with the lowest HP within 10 meters of this will also receive 40% of the effect. Well, Harpy does massive heals with her first spell, so this is something you could put in there. I mean, you know, if you're feeling like healing your teammates, using that, that can work. Elder Tablet, I am going to be building a lot of magic attacks, so increasing my physical defense by 12% of my magical attack, yeah, if I have 30 magic attack, that's not a lot. But if I have 300, that is basically a Raven's Mail. Uh... So that's worthwhile. All right, guys, we're gonna look at desecration. I think this is actually a pretty good build. Uh, pierce through physical defense and scripts. Each time you slay an enemy, your uh, your max HP will be. So this is both a defensive and an offensive choice for Harpy because guess what? Her first spell does more damage when she has more HP. So, and considering the idea that mage items really don't give you any HP anymore, you only have limited options for HP. Uh, they give you a lot of magic attack, a lot of mana. All right, so that's what we're looking at right now. There are there are a bunch of different options. You want to have a huge mana pool with Harpy too. And guess what? I didn't pick up any mana pool with my talents, so I'm gonna pay for that. That means I have to buy mana pool while I'm in game. And uh, so just know what you're paying for. Look, if you pick up mana pool from your talents and you get extra mana, max mana, then you don't have to spend as much gold in game to effectively use Harpy. But guess what? I didn't get it, so I'm going to have to pay for it with gold that I farm up in-game. Alright, let's go. Which is okay, because a lot of mage items now give you mana. Alright, uh, should I send... Oh, you guys are waiting for me. I'm sorry about that. My guild is actually waiting for me. Let's go on ahead. And uh, we're just going to do... Yep. Sorry, Hope. Do you hope. care if I invite Nadia? Uh, not at all. I mean, I do care. She's awesome. Invite her. And then there we have one spot. I have Dommy and Natalie on my friends list. Just invi invite Dom, invite Dom, and invite uh, Dom, everybody. Dom invite everybody. What are you talking about? Dom is just inviting people now. He oh, this is retarded. Everything. Let's just start with us three. You fine? Okay. Are you going mid? Um, yeah, I mean, I can go mid, but Harpy is also really, really good on the side lanes, too. I could, I can, uh, I, I want to go Arya, so. So go mid, and then I'll go to the sides. Right. Um, and I really do believe that. I think Harpy is a fantastic mid laner, um, especially if, uh, well, I think pretty much against any opponent, I think she's fantastic. And uh, you just have to make sure that you get perfect CS because she's not going to be like a hyper mobile roamer like Elf or something like that. But uh, on the side, she's also really good too because on the sides on Rift Distance Gold, especially on the map where there's the portals in either corner of the map, uh, she can really help out your team. That's really what's happening uh, on the map with the portals, right? Because there's the battle going mid between the two carries, and then on the either side of the map, Everybody's going in between the portals and doing lane control, and there's really just a battle between those those four people. It's a war going on between those four people and the enemy four people. It's been a long time since I've been on a map without portals. Honestly, I feel like they might have taken that out. The one without portals? Yeah. Oh, that map was so fun, though. I don't know, man. I it's, I feel like I haven't been in one of those in forever. Watch we get one this game. In this game. Watch it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, and also, I like her. I like... Players like Harpy, to, especially when I play Gorosia. Gar 
Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, so Harpy, Harpy has the uh, single... Longest single target stun in the game. And Harpy potentially has the longest stun in the game. So... But it's single target, and she is channeling it, so she's susceptible to any stuns, CC, whatever. And so if she gets CC'd while she's doing it, it's done. So you have to be really selective about when you use it. <clears throat> Alright, so I think my talent page was number 5. Yeah. And this is going to be... My number 4. Okay. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start off with quite a bit of uh, physical defense. <laughs> like what the guy in the chat said. <laughs> oh, I ignore it. He didn't say fit. He didn't say wow well, fit. We win. He said wow well, Hulk. <laughs> uh, Jeez. This is great. And then Z Tiger's like, this is bullshit. Nobody hears about the bone breaker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Z Tiger carries on. No one notices the bone. No, no, no one notices the bone breaker. Remember, remember that one game we got against that one guy? He's like, "Oh, hey, it's a famous guy, Hulk." I know, and I was like, "What the hell? It's supposed to be me." <laughs> this is. A... <laughs> oh, this is great. I don't even. I, I'm... Do you do something I don't know about? Like, are you are you some sort of like? I don't think I do. Okay. I mean, I do sing for the viewers. <laughs> you sing for the viewers. Like, I don't even do that. I know you don't. <laughs> oh, I find that so funny. Whatever, man. Not funny at all. <laughs> Why? Oh, and then he leaves. Oh, wow. <laughs> he, he's your biggest fan. He's like, no, I don't want Hulk anymore. Oh, okay, oh, okay. He's taking it easy on you today. He probably just a lo little lag. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't know, man, but I'm always up. I'm always in here with you on your stream, dude. I'm like your, I'm like your right hand man. Okay, so the HP restored every second when you're draining is one percent of her HP at level one, which isn't that much. Be like what? <laughs> I'm Arabic. Oh, this is great. This is great. No one's even in mid lane. I'm mad at this guy. He's all calling a Hulk and whatever. I'm jelly. I don't even want to talk to him. <laughs> oh, fit. You're right, though. I mean, we're on the map of the portal, so. I, I really do think they've taken out that other map. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe. It's... I mean, I I wouldn't. Oh, oh God, I, we lose. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't say it either, for sure. But. Okay, we win. All right, we lose. We lose. Oh god. No! Dude, I can four shot this out. This. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, that's that's great, right? Dude, this elf is so squishy. Okay, so yeah, good job. So our Harpy's second spell is an AOE, and it goes directly around her, so she doesn't move while she does it. And when you cast it, there is a short channel time for the uh, skill animation. So whenever you cast your second spell, you want to make sure that you don't touch the joystick and you're not moving around if you're on iOS. Um, or I suppose in general, that you just actually let her cast the spell. And it's a silence, and so the enemy can't cast any 
any spells, and they take, uh, it's her burst damage, essentially. Harpy has two forms of burst damage. Her first form of burst damage is her ultimate, her second is Black Fog. And Black Fog also silences them, is the, and is the AoE that, short, that surrounds her body uh, in a small circle. Okay, so it's actually an AoE bigger than you might think, too. So this is a, you know, a little bit of uh, advice that comes from an experienced Harpy player, is that Black Fog actually affects enemies about five to six meters away, away from her. I feel like maybe it's like six meters. So, like, I could kill this creep right here. Like that. And it's actually outside of the black, the edge of the black fog that you see. So that just comes from playing Harpy to know that. And it's a good little tip for you guys. That the AoE does kind of extend beyond maybe than what you would have expected. I have no idea why I put two points into her passive just now. Uh, that's actually, I don't know. That's just not normally what I do. Um, but we're doing it, and uh, it increases your auto attack. It costs mana every auto attack to do it, so it's not something you want, just want to leave on forever and for no reason. Um, if you can't, if you can't get a CS or something without it, then yeah, go ahead and use it. Or if you're attacking dragon or taking some sort of objective, like maybe sieging a tower, putting in a little bit of DPS on a tower, go ahead and activate your third spell first before you do it, and that works out good for you. Just increases your damage, but does cost a little bit of mana. We'll take a closer look at that spell in a second. Okay, you went into the bush. Sometimes when they go into the bush and you're actually using the drain, it still drains them. As long as you had them targeted before you did it. This is just being annoying and stupid, and I don't know why I did that. And I'm going to push this out. Got actually already quite a bit of gold. I am going to go back, I think, right here. So yeah, her third spell is a toggle, by the way. And it does damage according to her maximum MP. So, like I said, you do want to have a huge mana pool with Harpy. In fact, it's kind of retarded that I didn't even get any max mana with Harpy. But like I said, there's different things that you're buying. There's different things that you're building. Look, I didn't get that much pierce. I didn't get that much mana pool. But I do plan on buying both this game. But mostly first, I want to just make sure that I get a lot of HP, okay? Because normally what I do, and what you would see this game if I hadn't screwed it up a little bit, um, would have been me actually maxing out my first spell. So, I can do that. I can max out my first spell. And now look, I'm already restoring 3% of my max HP. I'm at 1600 max HP. That's more than anyone else on the map. Take a look. I have way more HP than everybody else on this map right now. And I do quite a bit of damage. I mean, that's a good thing, right? So, I mean, just with this build that I just quickly made or whatever, I'm already seeing advantages that I already have over other players on the field. And once again, I do have the longest single target stun in the game. I do have a toggle that makes my auto attack more damaged. Harpy has the highest attack range for any mage. There's no, there's no mage with a higher auto attack range. She has the same auto attack range as Demon Hunter. She can actually stand at a dragon and auto attack it and she will not take the flare from the dragon. So that's, that is gonna be 10 meters I believe. Let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Her attack range is eight meters. I suppose it's eight meters. Well, all right, well, that's actually not the same as Demon Hunters, I don't think. I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look at that at some point. But all I know is that for some reason, I think she's outside of the range of the harp of the Dragon's Flare. I don't know if they changed that or what. Or if I'm just unfamiliar with Demon Hunter's ranges. Pretty sure it's the same as Demon Hunter's. Okay, see, I actually just did what I was talking about earlier. I had him targeted in the bush. I just drained him for the duration of his ulti. Draysnor is way less effective right now. And it's actually interesting that I drained him when he was in the bush and I couldn't see him. That's something that I mentioned earlier that you can do. If you have somebody targeted with Kiss of Death and they're running away from you, run into a bush and you manage to pull the spell off and cast it, if you have them targeted at that moment, they're targeted. They're not getting away from you even if you can't see them in that moment. It just takes a split second. So, okay, I want to keep the information coming to you guys. Some of the, some of the most difficult things about Harpy are targeting. When you, when you have your ulti, you're able to cast it three times in a row, and it is a blink that does AoE damage similar to Black Fog almost. Okay, hang on one second. I 
think that is the hardest thing for Harpy is targeting during the middle of a team fight where you have to switch targets. You're also casting your AoE when you ult in. I mean, there's just a, really a lot going on. So we're gonna we're gonna try and show you guys once we get into a fight. It looks like we're actually in a pretty good game too. Alright, so here comes the stun, for sure. Okay, Harpy can actually ult onto her teammates too. Alright, here comes more. We're gonna silence. Not enough damage. I'm totally gonna die. I'm screwed. We tried. All right, Hulk is actually there. I'm gonna TP in on Hulk. I'm gonna get this for the for the Searing Orb. Just on a quick decision. Almost the best KS ever, but unable to pull it off. And uh, I got my level four drain now. I'm gonna make sure Hulk doesn't get ace, uh, get killed by this elf real quick. If she shows up. really not sure where the elf is but it's okay okay she's actually mid so you saw how my auto attack range is actually farther than Arya's attack range when she's uh, not doesn't have her passive up so that's interesting Alright, so that's another thing that I want to mention about Harpy, is that when you're ulting somebody, you don't have to use all three of them right away. You can, uh, ult onto them, and then start auto-attacking them, and then they start running away. And then you close the gap again with your ulti again. And then they keep running, and you keep auto-attacking them. And then you ulti onto them a third time. By then, you've, you've taken as much time as you possibly can by spacing that out, so maybe your first drain is back up again. You can also turn on your third spell for those auto attacks, increase your damage from the auto attacks while you're ulting them in that combo. However, just keep in mind that your ult, each cast, takes a lot of mana, okay? And each auto attack with Shadow Cord and activated is a toggle. So when you have it on, it costs mana. So you can run out of mana really easily during a combo, even just if you have full mana at the beginning. Just keep that in mind. It all depends on your mana pool, what items you have, what talents you have, etc. But I just want to go ahead and mention one thing real quick. Okay, uh, Phantom Blink is the name of her ultimate. It's a really, really amazing skill. Like I said, she can cast it three times in a row for 10 seconds. If, right now it does 150 damage. I have bought like no magic attack. Alright, I, I for some reason just haven't prioritized it this game. But Phantom Blink, when you have a decent mage build on her and you get your items, you can do about I don't know, eight hundred damage with each Phantom Blink. And it does AoE damage. So you can A you can AoE Phantom Blink in on them and you do eight hundred damage. Boom. But if there's an entire team of five there, then you're hitting all of them for eight hundred damage. Okay, so that's 800 times 4, so that's, uh, what, uh, 3,200 damage? So that's just with one. 
Sorry, 800 times 5. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that's a great way to get wrecked with Harpy. Just walking in first, being completely stupid, casting your first spell, and then boom. You get wrecked in the face, you don't even get to stun the person you wanted to stun, and uh, you're just retarded. Uh, I got an assist from Hulk picking up that kill, and uh, Hulk is, I don't know, he's going Rambo on uh, Ari Eagle Heart. Freaking, I don't even know how that elf isn't dead. And uh, it looks like they killed Hulk. Okay, that was that was an easy for them to kill Hulk. We know that. How can I help you? All right, I'm actually gonna wait till I get an Enchanter's Ring, so I'm gonna go farm up uh, another, I don't know, 200 gold or so. And uh, no, seriously, like that happens to all good heartbeat players. Like what just happened to me? Yeah, I mean, I, I probably should have avoided that. But at the same time, it happens to everybody. Uh, you just go in first, you try to stun somebody, and guess what? You just get shut down. Somebody stuns you in the face and you're dumb. Okay, that happens all the time with Harvey. It's something you really want to avoid. Uh, okay. This fight going on down bottom. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get 200 gold real quick. And uh, Harpy's, mana, Harpy's mana consumption is like some of the highest out of all the mages. Her combo, her combo, even her first spell costs a lot of mana. How much mana does it cost? 162, that's high mana cost, all right? 162, that's high. Each, each ulti that costs 216, that's high. And she casts it three spells, three times in a row. Each one costs mana every time. That's, that's high mana cost. Okay, and Black Fog isn't any different. Black Fog is actually her lowest, but, uh, yeah. It's also only level two for me right now, and just, I don't know. Her name's Blade is a fantastic item to get on Harpy. It gives you the slow when you go in with your ulti and with Black Fog, and increases your damage because from Mage Talents you increase damage dealt to stun or slow targets. So guess what? Harpy goes in with her ulti, casts Black Fog, hits everybody with a silence, boom, their whole team is screwed, then you're sitting there doing 5,000 damage with each ulti, and it's just like, holy crap, this Harpy is ridiculous. And that pretty much only happens in a 1v5 situation when your team is closely behind you. Harpy can be Harpy can be enormously suicidal, but she can totally just decimate an enemy team if her team is right behind her, dude. If her team is right behind her, then guess what, man? Harpy goes in and boom. It's also good to have somebody else go in conjointly with Harpy, as I, I should mention. Uh, like, you know, having the Harpy go in and 1v5 the team or whatever, blah, blah. It's also good to have, like, a Sia with her or somebody that can just really kind of help the Harpy out because it is a complicated thing. You're trying to go in and do some crazy stuff, and it's just, it's really a unique hero and a unique playstyle, and different harpies do have their own playstyles. I want to mention that, you know, you don't have to be all crazy trying to go in and damn it, DPS like a whole team like that with AoEs, but if you, you know, say you see a team sitting there, and it just so happens that they walk across in front of you in a bush, and there's all five of them standing there, I would never hesitate one second to just go in on all of them with Harpy, and just do as much damage as I could before I died, if my whole team is right there. Because that means that after I do that, my team is just gonna go in and just, just clean it up like, like it's easy as cake. Like, that's your job, dude. Like, that's your job. So, I mean, I, I mean, I just see it all the time, you know? Like, you don't have to be that sacrificial mage. But the point is, is that whenever you do see that opportunity to, to hit the enemy team with all that damage, dude, go ahead and take it. I think. Go ahead and take it. I can't kill that. <laughs> There's limited mage items now that give you max HP. Scythe on Lollipop might be a huge item for Harpy now. I also think that Essence of Lavalon is, is an enormous item on her, and Essence of Lavalon also gives you an AoE field slow. It's just like a really, really good item on Harpy now. So is Staff of Rectitude, so is Searing Orb, so is Boneflame Wand, so is Her Name's Blade, so is Zealot's Horn, so are Boots of the Firewalker, so are Chain Boots, so is Arrogance Cloak. I mean, all of these are good options for Harpy. Spider Queens, I don't know anymore. I really don't. I don't, I don't know about that, but that's, that's probably situational. I really do think that Hades is a good item on her too, though. I don't know about Spider- I don't think Spider Queen is a good option anymore. It doesn't give you max HP, I don't think, really.
so that's me wishing I could kill Hulk. Okay, he's strong, dude. All right, so I can pick up Searing Orb now. I can pick up I can pick up Slow Boots, and I can see what I can do here. Okay. Oh my God. Bad idea. Dead. Actually, I'm gonna use the respawn token. I'm gonna go fight. I feel like fighting. I wanna get a good fight on. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's all going back in on it, man. We got all sorts of kills. So, why did I TP there? Well, I guess I just wanted to see if I could kill him, man. And I knew that same thing was going to happen as soon as I started draining him. It took him a little longer to give me that time, but I don't know. Watch this next fight, though. Let's see, let's see what I do with this next fight. I see them engaging on somebody else, so this is going to be kind of interesting. They do only have two people alive, though, so... Actually, it's way not that interesting. I'm going to see... Yeah, they're dead. Hulk's killing them all. Oh man, I almost KSD there, Hulk. Okay, so this is actually good if the elf shows up. Oh my god. So, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, epic kill from Hulk. Good job, Hulk. You're awesome. Dude, seriously. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, that was amazing, man. Seriously. Wow, dude. Oh my god, what if it said Rampage again? I wouldn't even know what to do. Seriously, Hulk? I mean, at least let me try and kill- Okay, I'm gonna- This is how you save somebody with Harpy. Oh wait, actually, never mind. I tried. That's actually- That was actually bad. I got silenced. I'm trying to tell people about Harpy here, dude. Jeez, man. Just like squash it. Okay, you're dead. Good. Stay dead. Look, I'll put a thumbs down in your dead body. Oh my god, I'm dead, dude. I'm dead, by the way. Anybody? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh my Okay. <laughs> Dang it, man. I hate you, Hulk. Oh god. But seriously, I I don't know. I, I feel like I was paying a lot of attention to what I was saying. And it is some pretty valuable information mixed in there. I guess we're going to go ahead and record another Harpy uh, gameplay. What the hell, man? 31, so I'm 0-4-9. and 9. <sighs> Well, to be honest with you there, I was just kind of trying to give you a uh, good harpy build something that I felt like was pretty good and uh, I thought I thought it was pretty good I didn't even get to use the favor or see what that show the show everybody what favor looked like with her or anything like that so let's go ahead and do another harpy video hope give me an invite just don't get two epic kills in a row this time <laughs> unless they have a dolly on it unless they have a dolly on it with their medicines and ripper then go ahead and just lay it down <laughs> the second time I've ever gotten a, uh, uh, hexa kill. I got one with hexa kill. <laughs> Good job, dude. Man, that was awesome. Nice hexa kill, homie. I guess we'll have to call it Harpy Hexa Kill Awesomeness Fireball Explodes Action. They're trying so hard to stay alive. Alright, dude. I'm gonna wait for, I'm waiting for your invite. I'm waiting for your invite. I got you. Oh my god. Alright. So I'm going to show you guys a different build. We'll see if Hulk will let me go mid. 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a hyper offensive build and try and get an epic kill like Hulk, but it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go play cat. Yeah, see you guys. See Tiger's gonna play cat. Alright. Wow, Hulk, nice epic kills, bro. I would say epic kills, plural. Alright, so... Yeah, right? Wherever she is. Alright, so this is actually my favorite skin for Harpy as well. And, uh, I'm gonna go with Hyper Offensive. My talents are actually gonna be 40 Mage talents. Alright, there we go. Yeah, 40 Mage talents. Call mid. Alright, I'm gonna go mid. And this is gonna be. Alright, this is gonna be Killa. Killa Hoppy. Alright, so this is Whispering and Bloodlust. Whispering decreases your mana usage, also increases your attack by a percentage. This is Bloodlust. This is Incineration. I'm actually gonna go with. Uh, I'm not gonna use Whispering. I'm gonna use Bloodletting. And this is Bloodlust. Alright, and then I'm gonna use... This is just my own style. I'm gonna use a Blink and a Fireball. Which annoys people because they want you to use a Teleport. But I think everybody should Teleport to the mid lane, actually. And then... It, I think the mid laner should not have a Teleport. And I think everybody else should. And then they should all save the mid laner's life. But that's just me. I, I mean, that's kind of a ridiculous idea. But it just... I don't know, in my head, that's really how it should be. I think the mid laner should always be super selfish, only care about really CS or super hard roams. Like when when a mid laner roams, like it better be like a good roam, like off to the off to the sides when you ever you leave the lane. I'm assuming that you have a really good opponent who will shove the lane on you whenever you leave. But yeah, I think that the mid laner should pretty much be there the whole game, and it does happen whenever you have two really good mid laners. Uh, it's interesting to see. So. <laughs> You're gonna play mid laner? Yeah, mid play mid. Right. Yeah, mid lane is what I'm most comfortable with anyways, I think. I almost got two epics when I teleported back in. I, got I know, epic. dude, but that Drasnor, he didn't know, you didn't almost kill that Drasnor though. But you did almost get another epic. I was targeting the creeps, I probably, eh, he would've been really close if I didn't target the creeps. Especially with Arya. Natalie, why, why does she have a heal with Nara? No. Oh. Okay. Sorry to steal the spotlight and that game fit. You didn't steal nothing, dude. It's all yours, man. That was amazing. I love seeing that shit. I'm just here to talk about Harpy and tell people about Harpy. I actually have a lot to say about Harpy just because I played her so much and I love her that much. So, um, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like she also has different... Uh, yeah, she's uh, uh, yeah, she has different. She has a lot of different approaches. You can also approach her on Three's map versus this map versus Underrealm Ruins completely differently. In my honest yeah. opinion, Harpy full Harpy hard carry works really, really well in uh, Underrealm Ruins because you get all sorts of arcane dominance, and it's just like wow. We used to we used to play Cat Harpy CF and GVG. Yeah, that was like the big song thing for a while. I love that combo, dude. That was I love it. Yeah, that would go down in history. That was, that, that was one of my... Yeah, that, we used uh, Harpy on threes all the time. A lot of other guilds use Harpy. She's good in threes, dude. You just gotta be careful, man. Like, those situations you saw me get into last game where I go up and stun and look like an idiot happens to every Harpy player, and it'll happen to you on every map. Stuff, well, stuff like that happens to everyone. No matter what. No matter who you're playing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, well I screwed up that tower a little bit, but the tower also changed targets on me too, so it really screwed me up. But yeah, all I really care about right now is getting perfect CS. Landing my CS under the tower. Alright, there you go. That's a kill on the lane for me. All I did was fireballer, blink forward, activate my first spell, and silence him with, silence with black fog, and then drain him with my first spell, and he was dead for sure. Oh my god, I did it again, dude. I put two points into my third spell. Why do I keep doing that? So, for hyper offensive harpy, what do you build? You build her black fog bill black fog all you care about is getting magic attack for now oh my god okay now I'm actually gonna max my third spell because I'm just hitting him so hard with it he doesn't even realize oh god Alright, so for real though, I don't know why I keep screwing it up in the actual video, but just so you know, when I build Hyper Offensive Harpy, I put 4 points into Black Fog. Alright, I don't put 3, I do not put 3 points into, uh, uh, Corodin. I don't put it in three, into 3 into Shadow Corodin. I put 4 into Black Fog, and then typically I will do 1, 2, 3, all the way up to level 3, maybe then put another point in Shadow Corodin if I'm having fun. The auto text. But I'll remind you that Black Fog is her only other burst damage besides her ulti. Go kill these three people up here. Oh my god. I just got my drain instead of my ulti. This that happens to me a lot, to be honest with you. Now she's taking a bunch of damage from my third spell. Alright, well at this point, I'm going to siege the tower, do an extra 20 damage with my Shadow Corridant, that's what that looks like. Well, since I did get so much farm, I'm actually just going to get another enchanters, and then I'm going to go look for a fight. Oh, stop it. Or whoever's killing everybody. I want to be able to at least use her right her ulti in a team fight the way I see in my head like I've done so many times before and I want to I want to give you guys a good visual understanding 
I want to at least have a visual understanding of what I say when I mean it's like really hard to use Harpy. Like if you actually want to be awesome, like perfect or whatever. I could have killed. I could have done so much damage. I had my ult up. Thanks. I popped my shield and they took all my mana away. And you're the one killing everyone. You have the most kills. I'm actually going to pick a Rod of Exaltation, get a bigger mana pool, check my WeChat. I don't know what's going on with this 1v1 tournament for Windows, dude. I don't know what they're doing. One of the competitors isn't replying. Eleven, look, kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh yes, thank you. Eleven HP left. Are you kidding me? Oh, he died though, huh? Thanks, you tiger. Alright, thank you. Thank you what? I uh, just, I, I finally was able to do what I was trying to explain. <laughs> I, I hundred to zero two guys. Hey, that was all you there, Pit. <laughs> yep. So, that was, a really fun, that was a really fun game though for me. And, and that was a pretty decent Harpy tutorial. Lots of different ways to use her. Remember to, you know, check out that favorite tablet. I thought it was pretty cool. Didn't really get to group up with my team or show you guys what that looks like. But basically when Harpy heals herself with her first spell, uh, she does a massive uh, heal to her team. Do you guys want to go ahead and do another video? Maybe we'll take her on over to Underrealm Ruins. All right, let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and keep the Harpy tutorial going. You know, I love this hero. That's why I'm doing three videos in a row. This is ridiculous. Let's go. Have you, have you done a Goro yet? No, nah, man, it's a hard alpha. Her name's Anuir. Hard alpha. No, but have you done... Goro? Yeah, but it's in a hard alphabetical order, and her name's Anuir. Oh, I, I, it, it starts with an A. You keep saying, you're saying, like, hard alphabetical. Hard alpha. Yeah, it's in hard alpha. It's in alphabetical order. I mean, so... So she's, like, one of the first one. Yes. Agdarusu, Sam Walker, Akartu, Anir, Anioa. I already did Anioa. Zoo Tiger, you did. Zoo Tiger, you did it. You beat Hulk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why? Why does this do this? I think when it crashes like that, I feel like it. you send too many invites. Oh, and here's my uh, Tom page with 40 magic points. Boom. Done. Yeah, that was Battle Mage. So Easy. Good, so it doesn't really count. I'm gonna play Goro this next game, though. What are you playing next game? Oh. What? I'm playing Goro next game. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, that'll be. You right. won't. You won't steal. You won't steal the show with that one either, huh? No. It's. Nope. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Remember that one game we had? We were in their base at like five minutes. Yeah, that's, oh my god, dude. Oh, yeah, I won't forget great. that game. We, yeah. I think Z Tiger was there. No, was he? I don't know. Was Z Tiger there? I feel like I feel like he kind of was. Somebody else was though. 
Kalindala. No, it was Kalindala, Denver, me, you, and. Someone yep. Else. I don't remember. Laker or something, or. Probably. Charlie or somebody. <laughs> oh, it was Charlie. Yeah. It was oh, okay. Charlie. I think. I don't know. Oh, we got a game. My okay, so this is gonna be part three. A quick death, a blessing. We're gonna do the Phoenix skin. I actually did have somebody comment on my YouTube channel about six months ago. They said, Fit, can you please use the Phoenix skin? Well, here you go. Phoenix skin for Harpy. This one is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a little bit more defensive, actually. I'm not, I actually, I don't know what to do, dude. It's gonna be full carry. Bloodletting, bloodlust. But people are wanting us wanting us to use a quail and horse for the uh, Oh the lovers or whatever? Yeah. I gotta find a girl to do that with. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I hate playing a horse anyway, so and I don't even own a quayla, so Yeah, sorry. I gotta I gotta find a girl in my guild to do that with. I have a couple girls in my guild. And we're recruiting one I think, so we'll see. I'll find one that'll do that with me. I mean, do they have to be in the guild? Uh, yeah. Okay. We're all mages, but the tiger. It's okay. Mages at TW. Really? No wonder we got a game so quick and on the realms. Bigger thing. Playing against us. <laughs> Ain't this just great? Alright. Welcome! <sighs> oh, who are we going against? The viewers. Oh my god. Go away! <laughs> the viewers, we're streaming right now. We're actually able to stream and record in 1080p all at the same time now, thanks to uh, the recent oh, yeah. creation. Yeah, the recent creation of uh, My Fight Green, My Fight Green TV. So we're on board and online. That's why this Saturday is going to be so much fun. Uh, so we're hoping, to, yeah. That's why we got a game on Another Realm so quick because the viewers. <laughs> oh goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> and we and we look like just like the most ridiculous. We're all like little mages. We're all colorful. Yeah, we look at like a cornucopia, like a little fruit bowl or something. Yep. I'm and the straw. I'm the strawberry, and that's like a. I'm a big that's a grape, bush. and you're a blueberry, and that's that's our leaf over there, and this is kind of the person eating it. Nah, dude. Oh. Yes. Oh my God. I had a feeling they were gonna be in there. Oh my yeah. god! How can I help you? Oh my god! No run! Oh my god! The pull! Oof. It's real. He's so dead. He's so close. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Oh my god! Somebody's dead. No, see tiger. Die! How'd that tower not hit him? Oh my god, the pull! And then the blink. And then you're dead. Dude, kid the train, people. Oh my god, Z-Tiger, you have to kill every train because you're the only fire. Or, it's, you're the only fighter. It doesn't even matter if you're a fighter anymore, dude. T trains are so tanky. They bought them like the catapults. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I not drain her? I thought I had her selected for a drain. Makes me sad. That's a blink. Oh, you guys, you guys! You guys! No, I'm dead fit. 
Stupid and dead. Never. Okay. I'm just gonna pick up an armor. They all blink. My God. I find that so funny. All right. So actually, I need to stop trying to do plays like this. If I was a little bit more defensive, it would make sense. But I'm not. I'm going for hyper offensive. I need to get my farm. I need to get my items, and then wait till um, I get my ulti. No one saw that tornado. We all just need to farm out, dude. We're all mages. Oh my god, we're all dying. Oh my god. The joys of having creeps follow them into the bush. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to kill this train, dude. Z Tiger, we need you. Mages can't kill the train. I'm no. gonna hit. Theirs is gonna hit too. Barely. What the, are they? Dude. Okay, they, okay, never mind. We just need to farm up. Yeah, for sure. I'm actually gonna get, try and go top lane. See if I can get some farm top. This is definitely a map you can't really sh split farm on. This is only two lanes to get creeps, you know. I'm not even level six yet. I need to get to level six. When did they get an Aquila? Oh crap, I got owned! Damn. Uh, I should have waited, I should have waited another second or so because my drain was coming off a of cooldown. I keep getting baited into the fight, man. What? How do I miss that? really need to get a kill. Or gold. Oh my god. Oh my god. Crap, dude. Oh my god. That sucks. I thought maybe since I had boots I could catch him, dude. But he had boots. What a great game. <laughs> Alright, scores 3 to 13. What to do in this situation? Stop feeding. 1 and 3. I'm 1 and 3 and I'm dying. But I just really need to try and focus on getting my items, man. That's the key. We all do. We're all mages. That's what we're based off of.
dead. Oh god. The Arya. And the Doom Prophet. My god. reason why ah oh, dude we got a good we got a i know but we got a good uh team for defending we don't have a good team comp but we have a good team for defending yeah <laughs> even though he's just tower plus magic over. magic gets ridiculous late game Oh my, really? I'm dead. We're both dead. Oh, you guys are dead. Rematch. It's not over. <laughs> no, I know it isn't. Just saying, just in case if we do lose. This is long for being over here, but you know me, so. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if we could stick together, but it's up to you guys. <laughs> I'm so down to it. That's a dangerous bush. I don't know, dude. Ridiculous. Dude, kill this demon hunter. Everybody. Oh my god. I wish. I saw the Doom Prophet top lane, I was like, okay, are they finally split up? Oh my god. Viewers, damn it! Why do we have to have viewers? You guys. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my god. Oh, he was almost dead. See anything you like? Oh my god. Oh my god, the HP. That moment when you wish you really, really had a tank. Or anybody. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh no. Everybody's gonna die to the Arya now. Oh. Hulk! You just died, Hulk. 
I'm you know, doing something on the stream. My bad. Alright. I finally have Arrogance Cloak. How can I help you? It's what I really wanted. Now I would stack magic attack. And then hopefully just not get completely anally raped by my viewers. But that's what they wanted to do today. So yeah. That's what's happening. Oh my god. Why can't I stop walking? Stop it. For some reason I lost control. Alright, we're back. Can't really drag it as a tiger. You're gonna have to. Oh my god. Too much damage, dude. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, we know. It's VGHQ. GVG, it's uh, PvP. They queued us. They queued up against us. And I want to do it again. Oh crap, hello. Well, I mean, that's just a low blow. Like, we weren't... We weren't going for... Super Tryhard, Doom Prophet, Demon Hunter, Arya, no, friggin' no, Nicolia. No, we're all mages. Whatever. I guess it's fun for them, but the, yeah, what's, that's what happens when you stream, dude. Yeah, you get used to it. I think that it would be fun to do a GVG against them. Oh, I'm so down. We need one more, though. My call playing are you? Dude. Yeah. See anything you like? I thought that got him for sure. I can't really do anything about this team. What can I kill? Guild Shrent, what? GVG, you mean? We need one more player. No, we can do it on Titan. We can do it on stream. What then? So I mean, they're not. They're obviously they might. They're, I don't think any of them are on stream besides Sam. She's on right now. But it's really a game you can't brag about winning right now. Oh my god, they snipe me while I was in the fountain. If we're gonna do a GVG, I'm gonna need to get some food. I'm hungry. Well, dang, I mean, that sucks for a Harpy tutorial. I ended up trying to figure out how to use Harpy myself, but, I mean, I just wasn't expecting that at all. At the that same time. But, uh, that is...
basically what it looks like when you get wrecked. With Harpy. Yeah. LR. And so if that helps you, if that helps you at all, I mean, I I sure hope it does. We need a fifth. We don't have. Let's go threes. Let's go threes now. Alright, let's go. See you there. We'll go threes now, and then we can do fives after. How's that? Yeah, we gotta get a fifth, so we'll do threes now, and then we can then we can do a, a fifth later. Everybody watching the YouTube video, thank you so much for tuning into the Harpy tutorial series. This is gonna be a three-part video of two different maps, a couple different play styles, a couple different suggestions. I offer my own ideas on a build and play with it. I don't know, just trying to help you guys out a little bit. If you have any specific questions, make sure to let me know in the comments. And that will be it for this video. Thank you guys.